Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to Let's Be Real. The point guard is back. Yo, yo, what's up, everyone? Woo! Everything good? Everything good? It's chilling, man. It's good to have you back here, I man. Know, man. I feel good to be you back. Was, I'm you... looking at all the pop figures, all the black culture. Yeah, I'm loving it. <laughs> of course, it. of course. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? How you been, man? Been good, man. Been trying to hold down the four for listen, so long, oh, man. Yeah, listen, you've been doing a wonderful job, thank man. You, you, sir. Thank Sh you. Cheyenne, even Q, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Brother Q, thank you. Cheyenne, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. So I'm back. Uh, I will be back. This ain't like I'm going away again, but I will be back. But what's up? We talking some. I know everybody caught the game. You, what last night, right? Mm -hmm. Had to, yeah, it was last night, and you know Superman was in the building. It's not Superman. It's the one. And when you talk about the one, who you talking about? You know who I'm talking about. The one. Kawhi. Word up. The one. Are you paying attention now, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Did I not tell you what was going to happen? You laughed at me. You jeered me. Now look. Word up. Are you going to listen now? You better place your bets. And if Drake puts on a Golden State shirt, oh. place your bets. You know he does He does do that, right? Talking about Golden State and a few of his songs. Well, Damian Lillard broke the curse a little bit. He broke it? it a little bit, yeah. When he hit the game, when he hit the shot, oh yeah, yeah, yeah he did. Yeah. He 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 survived it a little bit, but in the end, it it it, it didn't end well. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Man, Golden State swept those guys. It's embarrassing, mm. but well, I guess it's not. But this episode, everyone. First of all, I'm your host Joe Mambu. It's your boy Big Sherm. I'm here. What's going on? So this episode is called "Enter the NBA Matrix," and like Big Sherm alluded to, all well, Big Sherm said in the beginning when we talk about. The Matrix, we're talking about one Kawhi Leonard, or Kawhi, the one Leonard. The one. Uh, if you don't know, last night, if he was under a rock, Kawhi Leonard had a pretty big game for the Toronto Raptors. Toronto Raptors are advancing to the NBA Finals first time in team's history in a quarter century, right? Mm -hmm. It's been a team for that long, which is crazy, Founded right? in 1993. Yeah, yeah. It's had a great talent like Tracy McGrady, Vince Carter, Obviously, the recently departure of DeMar DeRozan, who won, uh, he, was traded for Kawhi Leonard. He must feel real salty at this point in time. It's okay. Listen, he's in a good system. He's going to play good basketball. He's Him himself will, in the future, contend for championships. Hey, hey, don't forget Damon Stoudemire, the first draft Damon pick. Damon Stoudemire, you're right. Take you're it easy, right. buddy. Take it easy over And here. then we also got to talk about Kawhi, uh, Kawhi Lowry. <laughs> right, basically. <laughs> he right? Wished. Kawhi rubbed off on Kyle he Lowry a little bit. Listen, he is so lucky he's on that team uh, right now. I to say that he is lucky he should have been traded i don't care what anybody traded tell me for who what value is mike condy should Larry? be on that team mike condy should be in the finals okay listen mike, mike condy should be there mike condy is a hell of a player and they both okay have, the money does match because they both have 30 plus mil contracts you're damn right i know what the hell i'm talking about but at the end of the day Kyle Lowry is the point guard of the toronto raptors in the last two games he's stepped it up and now let me say, I've called this man a playoff run for most of this of the postseason. He has been thirteen years in the league. First, time. no, 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 no not, not even all that. No, yeah. no, 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 not even all that. Just looking at his playoff past, yeah, he ain't been good. Now this series, Eastern Conference Finals makes. Oh, I wouldn't say he. I mean, listen, you when you get you act like LeBron ain't wasn't a buzzsaw for but years. But when you get swept twice, yeah, the the sweeping is bad. Twice, the sweeping is bad. But Come on, Le bro, LeBron. Like, now a lot of people look at LeBron and laugh because it's like the Lakers LeBron. He still put up his, like, regular numbers, but right. he's not affecting the game like how he once was. So when he was, like, in his prime killing, like, Toronto, like, bro, that's like the Eastern Conference Golden State. Yeah, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, LeBron. But they can shoot. He can't shoot. Who? Oh, LeBron? LeBron can shoot. He's okay. He's all right. Listen, it's like fifty something percent from the field career right, in 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 the paint. That's in the paint. You are right about that. That's people like people like to they don't like to add that part. It's in the paint. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a very uh, it's like when people talk about DeAndre Jordan, his sixty percent from the field goes like, bro, he's dunking most of the time. <laughs> like, come on, bro. bro. Like, come on, man. Go, you. What are you saying? Come but on. this episode is not about LeBron. LeBron right. is at home fishing, as Q would say. Yeah. What would what would he say? He would say LeBron's not in the playoffs. Why are you not, talking yeah, about you him? Know, That's Q's what he would always, say. He's always he's just about basketball. Key. He doesn't like sideline stories. I know, but um, 
So you just talk about that, talk about it a little bit. Um, well, what ahead. did you see last night? What, what happened? I, oh man, what happened? Well, I remember the last episode we was talking about uh, how Kawhi didn't have help, and we kind of talked about how Marcus saw kind of, kind of, you know, he had was, a, a shit sandwich. He did have a shit sandwich. Where it was a game where he only like two points. He was like one for nine or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and like about four rebounds, and he's making pretty good coin himself to be playing like that. But they stepped up, man. You look at you look at this Raptors team in the last in the last three games. They they kind of took the challenge. I mean, at first we thought it was two zero, and um, it was just gonna be. I didn't think they was gonna be swept, but at that point I thought it would be like five game series. But you know, the the playoff doesn't start until somebody wins on the other opponents. Home I court. hate when they. F- Fucking say that. No, but it's true though. No, it's true. Every game's friggin' important. No, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why because of the format. You know, the two two one 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 format. Fuck the format. The format's important. Fuck the format. I need to win four games and get it done. Think about it like this. No, no, and that's true. Essentially, that's what it is. Come on, man. Essentially, that's what it is. But at the same time, that two two four. Like, think about it. You remember the old format two three two? Yeah, that was. Think about. The advantage mm-hmm. that the away team gets if they win one of the first two games right, of at course. home, and that's why they change. And then it. they get the next three games in their building. Right now, the uh, the 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 team with the higher seating has to then go into their building and win, and win twice. One twice. Game. No, win once. I know. I and would then, say win twice. La- well, yeah, maybe. But you gotta win twice, bro. You don't want it to go to game seven. If that's if that's what you're saying, you don't want it to go to game seven. Then you gotta win twice in their building. If you don't take care of your first two home games, but think about it. I, I think about it like this: is that they were down 2-0. Mm-hmm. Like now, if the Bucks were to go into Toronto and win one of those games, 3-0. and Like we seen, that happened to the Blazers. Right? True. Golden State won the first two games. People's like, well, the playoff don't, it's not a series until, you know, somebody takes the, 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 the road the, game. The road game. Golden State was like, well, we're going to do that in game three. And we was like, at that point, three and zero. When you say that, the fucking series is over. Yeah, yeah series all. Three and zero is done. No one's ever came back from three and zero in the playoffs. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Come on, cut the shit, man. So, uh, Nick Nurse, credit to him. Credit to good coaching. Good coaching. Good coaching. People was looking at. People was looking at, and I myself was looking crazy. I'm a Sayuri when he let go of Dwayne Casey, won Coach of the Year last year for the Toronto Raptors. But it had to be done. Listen, I get it. He didn't have the ear. He didn't have the ear of the players anymore. Well, they not, liked him. Not, not Dwayne even, Casey's not, a great coach, and he did wonderful things it, it, for the Detroit Pistons this year. It's not even that. The talent wasn't there. The talent wasn't there. And obviously, we're talking about... The, the, uh, and DeMar, DeMar DeMar's a great player, okay? Yes. I'm not going to disrespect that man. I know he's, he's, he's like a Jimmy Butler. Like if, uh, oh, wow. No, no, I'm saying... But that's not bad. That's like the second tier of players. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, but he's go, he's done a lot more. He's gotten the conference finals at least. No, I know. Okay, okay, so he's a slightly better Jimmy Butler. Like I don't, like, you know, what I mean, like I don't know. But I, I tried here. I listen, know. you look at those guys. You obviously have your top guys, right? Mm-hmm. Those are like five guys. I wouldn't put Westbrook in that. He's like second. He's like second tier, or one B, mm-hmm. whatever. Now, but Demar Derozan was those second, like the top tier, second crop of guys. Okay. I give you that. Yeah, freaking Kawhi Leonard. He's, People talking about he the best player in the league right he's now. He's the one. Yeah, the one. Like as great of a season Kevin Durant's had, as great as a season Giannis has had, and he might win MVP. As great as season James Harden had. Listen, Kawhi said it best. Say, yo, regular season's practice, homie. He ain't say homie. I added that. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> but <laughs> of course, he basically say, bruh. I'm here to win the games that's important. But but look, that's because of pedigree. Look where he came from. I th- I'll tell you the truth. I think the reason why they drafted him is because of his personality. This And when I'm talking about the draft, the San Antonio Spurs. Right. I think Pop was like, yo, this guy fits the mold. He's quiet. He's a low-maintenance superstar. I guess this this past offseason, people felt he was a little high sedity because his uncle was representing him. Whatever. He had a little demands or whatever. But he wanted to manage his load because he he was worrying about re-injuring his quad, and and they they messed up. The Spurs messed up. The Spurs up. didn't mess up, but they messed up. Greg Popovich just tried to get him back. I think Kawhi was done. 
I think Kawhi was done. I Once think, he heard what Tony Parker said, it was over. Yeah, it was over. You know what I'm saying? There, there's no, there's no we could say because you, now you've turned your back on me. All these he feels. Fo- all these foreign guys. Hey, they, they take it easy, buddy. Take Talking it easy. About, they, they, you know, I don't want Kawhi. no god. I don't want no goddamn <laughs> international incident. Oh, we we park our castle around listen, the world. Listen, take it listen. easy, brother. That's all take I'm it saying. easy. That's all I'm saying. Kawhi felt the tag. All right, man. For Kawhi felt the tag. He, he, that's what I'm saying. He 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 felt like yo, I've so been betrayed. He was done. I felt betrayed. I'm gone. But Let me be. Listen, they did a hell of a job, man. And it wasn't just Kawhi. You know, Pascal Siakam kind of looked anemic. He wake up he woke, in the first he woke two games, right? Serge Ibaka looked like he came, like he, like he was the defensive player. Yeah, he once was attacking the rim instead of shooting threes. You know what I'm saying? Marcus off more engaged with pump fakes. Man, he had Brook Lopez jumping out his shoes on a couple <laughs> plays. Van Fleet coming off the bench for four for five from three. And that man just had a had a had a, had a child come into the world. So you know he was adrenaline was high. He was going. He was moving. He listen, felt good. Listen, you know, you know what that feels. Yeah, like, man. I know. Listen, come on. They had listen, man. Those guys stepped up, man. Kyle Lowry, who we we both shitting on, stepped up the no, last no, two games. Listen, defensively, man. I'll give him credit. Defensively, he's done a fabulous so, job of stabilizing the defense. You know, locking up Eric Bledsoe. Yeah, and this is why I I why I wrote what I wrote in the in the blog. Check yeah. out LBR blog on the Facebook, please. Thank you. Um, this is why I said. I don't. I didn't trust the names that were on Milwaukee. I didn't trust a uh, Ilias Sova or a. Uh, he had a big game that uh, game. Uh, that wait, game too. Oh, 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 but they're home now. They are home. They play better in they in the building. I Obviously, understand the home team. I didn't trust Ilias Sova. I didn't trust George George Hill. Did you see what he did last year? Uh, yeah. I didn't trust him. I didn't trust Ed, Brooke Lopez. He, yeah, I got him shooting threes out there, and have to, and have to see he was shooting bricks. Yeah, and he just happened to wake up at the most important time. Thank God for them a little bit, mm. but I didn't trust it. Brooke Lopez played pretty good. He this played, series. He, he, he played, played pretty well, good. He played well in this game. Yeah. I'm gonna say this game. What game? In game six. Oh, he played pretty good in the games they won. Yeah. He played pretty good in the games they won. Okay, he dropped 29 in the first game. Okay, and where are they now? I'm I'm talking about that first game. Okay. See now you being an asshole. Hey, <laughs> hey, this is what I'm saying though. The problem with the Milwaukee Bucks and the adjustment that they did after the game, well, what Nick Nurse and the Raptors did after game two was they decided, yo, old school, put the best player on the best player. Kawhi Leonard did a hell of a job on Giannis. But and, but that was that was supposed to be expected. The man's a two time defensive player of the year. No, I get that. But how many players in the NBA guard the best player? I, you know, I'm a huge Russell Westbrook fan. Mm-hmm. But he don't guard the best players. And right. when he does, he hunting rebounds. He's he's in the back trying to get the rebound. Well, you want the rebound to start the break, no? I get that. But let your big do that. Okay. The bigs nowadays can run up the floor. Giannis essentially is a big, 6'11", right? But their towers over Kawhi Leonard. But their their center is 6'11", and about 200-something pounds. He can't run. Stephen Adams. Stephen Adams can run a little bit. He can't run yeah, like no, that. Yeah, no, he's a Stephen Adams. You see how fast Russell Steve, Russell's going? Stephen Adams is a big boy. That's a real big guy. He's 7' foot, basically. Forget 6'11". He's 7' foot. Yeah. He ain't running after that, man. Come yeah. on. But go ahead. This is all I'm saying, is that the Raptors decided, Nick Nurse and the Raptors decided, yo, let's put the two-time defensive player on the best player. Uh, Giannis tried to adjust a little bit, hitting a couple threes. The problem with Giannis, and the reason why he lost, is because the Raptors put a wall up on him. They decided to have Kawhi anchor that defense, obviously so. And with doing that, they they stopped uh, Giannis. But they weren't doing it. We wasn't, I mean, there were instances where they were playing straight up. But there were also instances, where, like you said, they played a three-two zone. They started to wall up everything. Yeah. But I looked at the game like, yo, and it was said on by Charles Barkley, I believe, mm-hmm. on the on the post game. That's baby LeBron. This basically Who? baby uh, Leonis. He's baby LeBron. The problem is, is he that. he can't shoot free throws either. Yeah, he can't. Yeah, he can't. That's a big problem. He can't. So you you you, you listen. Giannis has had an excellent season. Yes. We always say, if this man ever gets a goddamn jump shot, what do you? What can you do? You could do, do nothing. He's strong. He's fast. He, he's long. He can you know, listen, man. He can play all five positions. 
for this series, they said, you know what? We're going to take our chances with Chris Middleton, who's going to get paid. Yo, Chris Middleton. He's going to get I'm paid. I'm not even going to lie. Like, looking at Middleton and Brogdon, how they defended Kawhi. Because this is the thing. Kawhi put up numbers, but Kawhi didn't have great shooting percentages. You know what I'm saying? There was like a game where Kawhi was like 9 for 22. Given his injury. I think. Yeah, he, he, last game. He was 9 for 22. Given his injury, Kawhi really put the beats on these guys. He did. On one leg. He did. But it wasn't the greatest. It, it wasn't. And he, he had 30 throughout at least the first four games. It wasn't super, it wasn't super efficient. Well, I think game three he had 20-something. Yeah. I think 27. Yeah. Well, he had 27 in the last game. He had 27 last game. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I, I can look at the No, he had um, he, the rest of the game were 30, and he was willing everything. Yeah. Willing everything. Getting trying to get. And let me say something right now. Before we get into the Warriors versus Raptors. Well, I want to talk a little bit about Masai. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Before we do that. Okay. No, no, go ahead. I'm saying talk about what you want to talk about. No, now. no, no. We, we, we'll save that. Go ahead. All right. So I'm doing. Obviously, we know Masai took a huge gamble training. A beloved star player in DeMar DeRozan. They did him wrong. They did. Because De- Masai was like, yo, I'm not going to trade you. And then he ended up trading him for Kawhi, which DeMar right now has to understand looking at the Raptors. There's levels. Yeah, there's levels to it. And Masai understood that. And he pulled the trigger. He took a gamble. But I do want to thank, I do want, I, I, I think people should be looking at one GM uh, in particular to the reason why Masai even did that. What that and that is on? Sam Presti. Okay. And what he did last season with Paul George. What do you mean? He traded for Paul George. Mm-hmm. Took a gamble on him because he was the same, same, same deal as Kawhi last year. Paul George was like the, you know, the, Paul, Paul George was like the example. You take the, you take the one year guy who's there for one year. You don't know if he's going to commit. He's been talking about LA, 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 LA. Kawhi's the same year talking about L.A., L.A., L.A. Well, he's not really talking, but the, the thing is they're talking about he might be going to the Clippers, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, LeBron's trying to get him now, um, <laughs> which is understandable because Kawhi's the best player in the league. I'm going to say that right now. Okay. I think he's the best player in the league. Okay. Um, and, I mean, Masai has to look. He should say, he should send Sam Presti a thank you letter. Wait a minute. Just a, if, Wait a minute. Yeah. First of all, Playoff P, you can't compare. What I'm saying, you, you wait. You, we're not talking about the. We're not talking about the playoff P. We're talking about. No, go, go ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. We ain't talking about playoff P. When Presty did this, it was like, okay, we're, we we can't do no more with Paul George. We've gotten all we gotten out of Paul George, and he was traded. If I'm if I'm wrong about that, someone can correct me, please. Do what about what I'm saying right now? No. What okay? What are you saying? I'm, I'm saying about how. Presty traded for for uh, Paul George. For, for Paul George, yeah, it's not the same. It, it, this wasn't a championship move because in, every every in, 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 in Toronto they were talking about yo, we have a chance to win the championship. Our window's still open. We need to pull the trigger on a trade to make sure we can do this. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, and I'm... they said, yo, we're gonna take a chance one year on Kawhi. Yeah, well, that's the same thing. They took there the was not Oklahoma City was not winning no goddamn championship. First of all, come on, man. There's championship contenders, right? People look so maybe now recently with the two, with the two first round exits, or, or is it three since Durant left? <laughs> look at that. It, 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 two or three first round. They, exits. they haven't moved much. What I'm saying is, is that when Sam Presti made the move for Paul George, it was to give, it was to replace Kevin Durant, even if it was on a smaller scale, because. Kevin Durant essentially is, of course, better than Paul George. But Paul George was an MVP caliber player this year until he hurt his shoulder, right? Okay. He was in that conversation. He was playing MVP ball. Okay. Uh, so Sam Presti made that move. What I'm saying is, is that it paid off to a certain degree because they was re- they was able to re-sign Paul George. Masai Ujiri is now trying to deal with that same thing that Sam Presti was dealing with a year ago. And, uh, and and reacquiring the talents of the guy they traded for, who was po- so only supposed to be there for a year. Bur- Go ahead. Toronto, the city of Toronto. I think it's like a real estate company offering like Kawhi Leonard a penthouse. 
Damn. If he stays in Toronto. Okay. Whoa. I'm saying, this is the things you got to do. You got to pamper your guys. It may not even work for Kawhi because Kawhi is a totally different monster. This is what I'm trying to say. Oklahoma City never had a chance to win the championship as long as Golden State was there. Get that. You th- But you think, all right, so cool. You, I get that. You think and Toronto has a chance to win a championship? Golden they're State in the still East. There? Who is in the East but now? You, but, but you Who's st- there? But the two teams of the Who's be- there? the two teams of the best conference still have to play each other. I understand that. So, but the road to the finals is easier for Kawhi and no, them. No doubt about it. I understand that. Paul Jones wasn't going to get out the goddamn Western Conference. Yeah, yeah come I on. Get, I get that. But they still have to face the champions regardless, right? They wasn't going to win. You know that. You think Toronto win it? You think Toronto Kawhi the best player in the league? Let, that don't mean you beating the best let, team in the let, league. Let's get let's get there. Let's get there. All right. Let's get there. I was just talking about perfect. Masai did a wonderful job. Right. Of building this team. He took a risk. He, 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 he resigned Kyle dice. Lowry when nobody thought it was a good deal. I still don't think it's a good deal because I don't think he lived up to the potential. At least play- playoff wise. Serge Ibaka got he, him. He's a playoff veteran. S- he's, he's been in the final. He's been there. Deal. He's been there. I like the Danny Green. I like the Danny Green too. Although he, you know, he's, Danny, I like the Danny Green he, because he, it's it, he's it, been falling off. Listen, been falling off. You know, you notice they play play Jody Meeks. Wow, that's great. They, I didn't they even play know he was still they there. play Jody Meeks, man. <laughs> I didn't even know he was still there. Yeah, but they, the they haven't they haven't they haven't played him since then. But I'm looking at some of the moves, man. I'm looking at some of the moves. Um, Masai did a good job. And, and, and signing these guys, especially drafting Pascal Siakam. This is my and, message. And um, trading for Marcus Gasol. This is my message to Kawhi. If you, if, even if you, if you, even if you win the fight, if you win the championship, mm-hmm. and you want to go home, I'm cool with that. If he wants to go home, even if he in L.A. Does that's the Clippers? Yeah, that's the that's the Clippers or any team near that area. Okay. Yeah. Even if he loses, man. Even if he loses, I would say think about it. I understand you getting in the states, you get the endorsements and all that stuff, but if you stay in Canada, you have a whole country. It's backing him, B. A whole country would be backing you. If you come to the states, that's like one section. It's like the Hunger Games. You're like Section Thirteen. You know? Yeah. I mean, let me. A country Section Thirteen. Yeah. And then a you, country. And then you got Drake. And you got Drake right behind. Come on. Then you got me, Section 13. I think when Drake said me and, me and my broski are twins, but we don't even look alike, I think he was talking about Van Fleet. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but Joe, uh, you really had to go with that one. No, I'm just saying, man. But, yo, <laughs> I mean, the, the, the sad part about for me, and this is we're going to jump into the uh, preview right now of Golden State versus the Raptors. The sad part for me is I know what is about to happen. What do you know? I mean, people look at people go back to what the 2017 when he was up 16 when, was it 16 mm-hmm. 16 17 when when the Spurs was 21 up against Golden State and you know that dirty ass Zaza Butchilia <laughs> stepped wow. on you know put his foot under Kawhi and Kawhi ended up hurting his ankle and then you know Golden State over. Golden State just won another easy championship like they did their first one. Because Kyrie and Kevin Love was gone. Who told them to be brittle? Who told them to be brittle? Don't be brittle when LeBron needs you. Continue. But I just feel like as tough as it was for Toronto to beat the Bucks, the problem with the Bucks was their superstar wasn't a shooter, so he can he was he very, couldn't shoot. He was very predictable at times. Well, you know? he's not Ben Simmons type, but he just couldn't shoot. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know. Um, and those threes that he hit, he was open. He was wide open. Yeah. You know, you ain't they, gonna have. You can't build a wall against the Warriors. It's not gonna happen. Nah. They because they going they gonna they gonna go under it. And they, they shoot. Gonna, yeah. They, they shoot too quick. Yeah. They gonna go around it. They gonna climb on top of the wall. And Draymond Green might just bulldoze through the wall. Or kick you in the nuts. Or <laughs> kick you in the nut. Um, so the Raptors have to the Raptors have to play. Uh, they're gonna have to guard up, man. One of the toughest things to do, and I you play ball, I play ball. One of the toughest things to do is to guard a guy 
at the YMCA who can shoot. I was just about to say <laughs> that. The, I was the, just about to say at that. At the YMCA who can shoot. It's the toughest thing that to do, about, man, to guard a guy who can shoot. We're not we're not saying we're professional not in any way, shape, or form. No, no, no. We're weekend warriors at best. Yes. But yes. one of the toughest things to do is to guard a shooter, especially like a consistent, really good shooter. And it's demoralizing when, he, when you're playing perfect defense and he just starts hitting shot after shot yeah. after shot after shot. It's demoralizing. Yeah. So... Uh, the I don't see the Raptors really matching up well against the Warriors. I don't think any team matches them. I mean, listen, you had LeBron James last year, and uh, he he basically they they put him in a diaper after after Game Three. Mm-hmm. KD hit the same three, and basically in a further spot than it was the year before when he gave him the gentleman sweep. Right. So listen, at this point, I at this point in time, I'm just really just measuring how well, how better. Is Kawhi than LeBron James because will Kawhi give it give him six games instead of the uh, the four or five that LeBron gave the previous so, year, so two years? So what are you saying, sir? I'm saying that what is Kevin Durant is going to win a third championship and he's never even going to have to play a game in the finals. Demarcus the cut Demarcus the Cousins Demarcus Cousins Demarcus, <laughs> gonna, Demarcus Cousins is going to get his first ring. And he may not even be back for any of the games in the finals. I would rather have just the original three play against the. I would rather that have the original three, which is Demarcus. I mean, um, Steph, Katie, Kate. No, not Katie. Yes, he was Steph, there. Steph. He was there when Kawhi was. Steph, Clay. Oh, the original, original. and Draymond. We're not talking about the bandwagoners. Okay, go ahead. The Slithering Brothers. So, talking about the Splash Brothers and Donkey, Draymond. <laughs> Go ahead, but, man. Um, Go ahead, man. I'd rather, if, if if that team, if that Golden State team is, is, is the team that's on the court, <clears> along <throat> with Andre Iguodala, I would rather that Raptors, I would rather see that matchup because that's more so of a matchup that's kind of fair. Uh, it's more of an interesting matchup. If any at any point, DeMarcus... Or more so KD comes back, you kind of know what it's going to be. And the reason why I may even go six because DeMarcus and, and uh, KD may not be back the first two games. So the Raptors may apply the pressure, get one game in Golden State, get a game in Toronto, et cetera, et cetera. But um, if not, if the Justice League all their members, it's a wrap for the Raptors, man. You know what I mean? How many games? As great as Kawhi is, like, he give you five. He give you five. It'd be five games that they beat him in. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna sweep him. I don't think they're gonna sweep you're, him. You're, you're, I don't think they're gonna so sweep you're him. You're saying the Golden State Warriors are gonna win in five games. Gonna win five. If they got their complete squad. Okay. Because the, the Warriors are beatable with those three. Because you could cut off one of the heads of the dragon. And which is that of any of the two Splash brothers. If you could nullify one of them. You can, you can, you can win a game. So, but if the whole team is back, it's a wrap. Okay, Mister Producer Man, I'm gonna ask for at least an extra three minutes. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna make this quick. Go ahead. What I put on that blog on Mother's Day, when I saw the shot, it changed time. This. Uh, okay. That game seven shot versus oh okay the okay yeah I was lost. It for changed that. time. Now you get this now. When they were down, when Toronto was down two nothing, I didn't panic. Cause I told the people on the blog, I told them I was going to say six. Did you really say six? Yes, I did. I gotta start looking at the blog. Watch the blog, my man. Once again, I predicted it correctly. That's crazy. Come on, predict something right now. Toronto's going to win. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get there. We're now seeing deja vu, like we saw in the Matrix, when Neil saw the cat pass by, meow, <laughs> and it flickered. Yeah. So now we're going to come back to the scene of the crime. Katie's going to be back. DeMarcus Cousins is going to be back. Yeah. And Boo. we're, and we're going to get a redo of sorts. It's just now Kawhi is on the Raptors. And it's mm. the same situation because he's going to be the best player on the court for them. Yeah. Okay. You, Danny Green's still there. Danny Green's now there, I should say. Yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of have a little feel to it. 
But to me, it's the one Neo versus the Mr. Smiths. <laughs> and we know how that ends. Batman versus the Quarter Owls. Don't fuck my shit up. Please. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Sorry. In the end, before that buzzer sounds, <laughs> I knew it was going to do that. The Toronto Raptors will win in seven games. Yeah, I, I, listen, you serious? I, I believe it. Oh, man. I'm, gonna t- I'm even going to give you a bonus of how it will go. Okay. Game one will go to Golden State. Okay. Game two will go to Toronto. You go back to Golden State. Golden State gets game three. Toronto wins game four. Okay. That's 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Game five goes to Golden State. Damn. And then in the, some of the closest games you'll probably ever see, mm-hmm. Toronto wins the last two. Kawhi is winning the championship. Crazy, dog. If that's, and, and it's not. And there's going to be a blog game in there. Yeah. Uh, probably a few. Yeah, maybe. But I look at it this way. Damn. you. So- I This is why I believe. If I'm wrong, hey, whatever. You've been right. You said the Wizards weren't going to make the playoffs. Do I have your <laughs> attention now? But yeah. but before we conclude, I believe this series will be close. They're going to employ the Houston Rockets game plan of trying to beat these guys up. But not, hopefully not, not offensively. Uh, the defense on the defensive end. Okay. Rough them up. They're long enough they have long enough to stay in front of them. Yeah. They can switch. They're 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 able to switch. Yeah. And get in their faces. And if you ask if Kawhi has to be there against KD, you know that's gonna happen. Yeah, it, it could happen. You know? So cool. if and if KD's not there, it's even rougher for Steph and Clay. Yeah. Because you know he can lock both of them down if he really want to. Damn, you saying Kawhi got superpowers. Cause he is the one. Wrap it up, sir. All right, man. I wanna thank everyone for tuning in for another episode of Let's Be Real. You can hit us up on our Facebook blog, uh, Let's Be Real Sportscast. You can hit us up on Gmail, lbrstalk at gmail.com with questions and comments. You can also go to our YouTube page, Let's Be Real Sportscast, and catch this episode later during the week. Uh, if you, uh, Well, if you didn't catch all of it, you can do that. Uh, man, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, listen to another dope episode. And I'm back, and I'll be back here for... For a while. Because the NBA is telling you a story. (laughs) All right, everyone. Peace.